Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School, the sky is our limit. Yes, my dear learners, welcome to this lesson. Um, my name is Isiko Moses. I'm going to take you through primary 60 mathematics. This is our second lesson. Before we look at this work, let us have a review of what we recently learned with the teacher Godfrey. Teacher Godfrey took us through finding consecutive counting numbers. He said counting numbers are numbers which are used in counting and ordering things. He also told us that counting numbers are also called the natural numbers. Counting numbers have an interval of one. What does it mean? These numbers increase by one. They also reduce by one. Counting numbers form an endless set. We can list them up to infinity. What do we say about counting numbers? I hope most of you still recall what consecutive counting numbers are. Consecutive counting numbers, these are whole numbers that follow each other in a specific pattern. Without skipping any, they follow each other in a specific pattern. Behind him, an activity was left, and that is where I would like us to have a review by looking at one question among the four numbers that we are left. I am going to take you through number four of our previous activity. This was our activity, and number four is here. It reads P, 21, 22, and 19 are counting numbers. If their sum is 82, work out the value of P. In this question here, there are majorly three words that are very key. Among them include counting, counting numbers, that is one. The second is sum. Then we can now talk about value. We are going to look at the value of B. Which numbers are these? When added, we get 82. So how do you approach such Recently, we learned that sum means the result of when you add numbers. So, since we have been given sum, and one of the numbers is being required of us to find it, what do we have to do? We have to first form an equation. We are going to form an equation using the given information. For example, we shall say P as one of the numbers plus the second number, which is 21, plus that number, which is 22, plus the last number, it is 19. When these numbers are added, we come up with the 82. So after reaching here, in your next step, you have unknowns. In this case, 21, 22, and 19 are known. So we are going to put them together. So now you have a task 
of adding 21 to 22 and to 19. For accuracy, I advise you to carry out uh, side work and arrange these numbers vertically. We shall have 21 plus 22 plus 19. We are adding them so that we can get the right answer. Let us add 1 plus 2, we get 3. 3 plus 9 gives us 12. We can try the whole 12 here simply because this one here is a single place value and 12 has two place values. A place value of 1s and 10s. So we are going to it here, 2 and 1s, and regroup one group of 10s to this place value. We now have 1 plus 2, that is 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 5 plus 1, we get 6. So the sum of these three numbers is 62. In your second step, you are going to have P plus 62. This one is equal to 82. Having got this step, you now have the third one. What do you have to do? You are supposed to collect like a terms. Which terms are alike? 62 and 82 are alike. Which term are we going to collect? We have to collect 62 so that we remain with the unknown on the left hand side of the equal signs. So we have to work it out as E plus 62 minus 62 is equal to 82 minus 62. You now subtract 62 minus 62 gives us a, a zero. So we are remaining with here P plus zero is equal to the difference between 82 and 62. For arteries carry out to side work, you will have 82 minus 62 and subtract actually three. This is 2 take away 2. The result is 0. Then 8 minus 6. We remain with the a 2. Therefore, the difference between 82 and 62 is 20. So we are having here our 20. We now finally have to conclude. P plus 0, the result is 0. So we are remaining with P, giving our answer as Z, 20. After getting this answer, you get a ruler and underline neatly. Get a ruler and underline your answer very well. In order to become a mathematician, you must be good at organizing your work and putting neatness at a four front. So this was our answer for question four. Yes, my dear children, our lesson for today is about finding consecutive even and odd numbers. We are going to look at finding consecutive even and odd numbers. Here, we need to have some facts about these two types of numbers. What are odd numbers? In the primary five and the other previous classes, we learned about even and odd numbers. And we said, odd numbers are whole numbers that are not exactly divisible by two. When we divide them by two, we always remain with the one. We also said that odd numbers increase by two. For example, for example, if these are my odd numbers, if my first odd number is one, how do I come to the next one? I will have to add 
a 2. I will say 1 plus 2 leads us to 3. Then from the second one, to go to the third, I will also have to add 2. That is 3 plus 2 leads us to 5. To move to the fourth odd number, I will also have to add 2. This is 5 plus 2 leads us to 7. So this is how odd numbers are obtained. We get them by adding 2 onto what D. we come up with. So this is a fact that you must understand that odd numbers increase by 2. They also reduce by 2 if we are rating them in descending order. The other fact about odd numbers is when any two odd numbers are added, the result is an even number. The sum of two odd numbers is equal to an even number. We shall look at that next time. I've also uh, got to understand even numbers. Even numbers numbers that are exactly divisible by 2. When you divide them by 2, you don't remain with the any. These numbers start from 0. They increase by 2, giving us an interval of 2. So if 0 is the first even number, how do I get to the next one? I will have to add 2. That is 0 plus 2 leads us to 2. Then to go to the next one, I'll have to also add 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Then from 4 to another one, I'll also have to add 2 to come up with 6. So these are the two properties that we must have at our fingertips. Even numbers are exactly divisible by 2. They also increase by 2. When you look at this, what do you have to notice? Even and odd numbers have something in common, and that is the interval. And even numbers increase by two. So we shall have to apply that property in our today's lesson. Let us see, look at our today's examples. We have here examples to look at. Let us read them together. The sum of three consecutive even numbers is 30. Find the numbers. The sum of three consecutive even numbers is 30. Find the numbers. In example one, we have been told that when three even numbers are added, their result is 30. Which three even numbers when added give us 30? For now, these numbers are known. So what do we have to do? We are going to let the first even number to be a letter of our preference, apart from those letters which look like figures. So let us look at these examples. I really want you to be very attentive so that you don't miss this important information. We are saying in example one that let's the first number let the first number be letter y we are letting the first number to be y simply because these numbers are any known now if the first number is y how do we get the other numbers we have to see that let me have this information summarized in a table this is what is expected of you. When your time to attempt my today's exercise reaches, you also have to come up with a table. I will have the first column. Here I'm going to have the first number. Here I will have the second number. This way we shall have the third number. Then lastly, we shall have the sum also referring to total. Now, if the first number 
is y. How do we get the next number? You must remember what I talked of about intervals. These numbers increase by 2. So from y, we shall increase y by adding 2 to give us the next number. To go to the third one, you are going to add 2 to the second number. What do I mean? If I have y plus 2 as my second number, how should I get the third one? I'll have to add here 2. This one leading us to y plus 4. So third number is y plus 4. What is their sum? I've been given our sum as 30. So having come up with this, we now form an equation. Where do we really get this information of formula and equation? When these three numbers are added, we get 30. So that's how we are going to form our equation. We are saying here that y, which is the first number, plus y plus 2, the second number, plus y plus 4, the third number, these ones here are equal to 30. That is the first step. The next one, you are going to collect the like terms. Which terms are alike for this case? We have the unknowns. Those are now the letters. Y, 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 they are unknowns. Then the figures or the numbers are the knowns. So we are going to, first of all, bring the letters together, which we call unknowns, as Y plus Y plus Y. Then plus 2, plus 4. These are equal to 30. Let us add. y plus y equals to 2y. 2y plus y, the result is 3y. Plus uh, 2 plus 4 equals to 6. And the whole thing is giving a sum of 30. Having reached here, we now collect like terms for the second time. Our like terms for this case are 60 and 30. So the term we are collecting is 6. How do we collect that? By subtracting it from either side of the equal sign. So you are going to have 3y plus 6 minus 6 equals to 30 minus 6. Let us subtract 6 from 60. The result is 0. So this is going to be 3y plus a 0 is equal to 30 minus 6. I advise you to have this one worked aside. You have 30 minus 6. 0 take away 60, 0 is less. So what are we going to do? We are going to regroup 110 from the 3 tens. 3 minus 1 will remain with the 2. The one we have regrouped is equal to 10. So the 10 plus the 0 we have here, we are going to come up with the 10. 10 minus 60, the remainder is 4. Then this is 2 minus a 0 here, will remain with the 2, forming 24. So the answer here is 24. So now we shall have to add 3y to 0 to give 3y, which equals to 24. Our interest is in getting the value of y. So what are we going to do? Divide the either side of the equal signs by 3. As 3y divided by 3 is equal to 24 divided by 3. That is it. Let us divide. 3 divided by 3 equals to 1. 3y divided by 3, you remain with only y. Then we have 3 divided by 3, we get a 1. How many 3s are in 24? Thank you. We come up with 80 3s. 
So now here, the value of y is 8. None of us has told us to find the value of y. We are looking for the three even numbers. When added, we come up with the 30. So having reached here, you underline this is part of the working. And what we have got here is very important. So we are going to find the three numbers. I advise you to draw a table so that you organize your work very well. So this is how you have to advance after getting the value of y. I am finding the three numbers. When added, we come up with the 30. So in this first column here, we are having the first number. Here we shall have the, the second number. Then finally, the third number. Using the first table we had here, we say that the first number is y. So I will have here my y. We got the value of y as 8. Therefore, the first number is 8. Then the second number is y plus 2. Here we have in y plus 2. So what do you have to do to find the second number? You substitute for y. Replace y with the 8. I will have here 8 plus 2. 8 plus 2 gives a sum of 10. Then lastly, the third number is y plus 4. y plus 4. Substitute for y. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So now we have worked out the three numbers. Before you make a conclusion, let's find out whether these numbers are even. 8, 10, and 12. Are they even? Yes. Do they follow each other? Yes. If they follow each other, then they are consecutive. So we have to make a conclusion and say there are four, there are four, there are four, the numbers are, we have eight, ten, and twelve. Then you double underline this one gives us our final answer having looked at example one let us see look at our second example we must be very attentive so that you also don't miss it it's very important our second example reads the sum of four consecutive odd numbers is 32 I advise you to read it more than once. The sum of four consecutive odd numbers is 32. When four odd numbers are added, their total is 32. Part A of our second example is asking us to find the numbers. Which four odd numbers, when added, give us 32? In that case, the numbers are any known. So what we are we going to do? We are going to say, let the first number let the first number be K. Let the first number be K. After that, you can summarize your information in a table as I am doing it here. You make that simple summary of the four numbers basing on what has been given in the question. Our first column here is going to represent the first number. The second column will represent the, uh, the second number. Here we shall have the third number. Here, fourth number. Then finally is the sum. Now, what did we say about uh, odd numbers? We say that odd numbers increase by 2, giving us an interval of 2. 
So if your first number is k, if the first number is k, how do I get to the second number? I will have to add a 2. So that is k plus 2 forms the second number. To go to the third one, you add 2 to the second number. That is k plus 2 plus 2. That is k plus 4 as your third number. Then, to get the fourth number, still you have to add a 2 to the third one. You will have k plus 4 plus 2. What do you have to get? What I come up with here is k plus 6. And now the sum we have been given in our question as a 32. Like that. So now, we have a task of looking for the value of k. How should we look for the value of k? To get the value of k, we are going to form an equation. Simply because in the question we are told that when four odd numbers are added, their answer is 32. So we have to add these four numbers as k plus k plus 2, that's the second number, plus k plus 4, the third one, plus k plus 6, the fourth. This is equal to 32 as the sum. Now, after forming your equation, you collect the like terms. We have the unknown is, that is the letter k, then the known is these numbers here. We have to now begin with the unknown is, that is k plus k plus k plus k, then plus these two, plus four, plus six, we come up with the 32, like that. Now you add k plus k equals 2k, 2k plus k is equal to 3k, 3k plus k, we come up with the 4k. You now add the nouns, 2 plus 4 equals to 6, 6 plus 4 gives us 12. So here we have 12 is equal to 32. That is the third step after forming the equation. We are now going to collect like terms for the second time. We are going to collect this 12 here and take it onto the right hand side of the equal signs. We shall have here 4k plus 12 minus 12 is equal to 32 minus 12. Since this is addition, I am using the active inverse of uh, positive 12. That's why I'm subtracting 12 from either side of the cosines. 12 take away 12, the result is 0. So I'm going to have here 4k plus 0 is equal to quick subtraction 32 minus 12. It can be done mentally, but for accuracy, I advise you to have your worker worked aside, just as the teacher is doing here. 2 minus 2, the result is 0. 3 minus 1, we get it 2. So our difference here is 20. What is the next step? Next step is 4k plus 0, which is 4k, giving us 20. We need to get the value of 2 by 4. I will have to divide 4k by 4. Then I also divide 20 by 4. 20 divided by 4 can also be written like this. So don't get surprised. 4 divided by 4, we get a 1. 4k divided by 4, which shall remain with only k. Then here, we have 4 divided by 4 is 1's. 20 divided by 4, it goes there 5 times. So now, 
we have the value of k as 5. That is not the final answer. So unlike once you have just got the value of k. But our question is finding the numbers. So we have to come up with a simple table and we look for the actual numbers. We need to get the real numbers. I am having here my first number. I'll have second number over there. Shall have the third number. Shall have finally here the fourth number. So we have this table. First number is K. We have our first number is K. What's the value of K? The value of K is 5. Second number here, it is K plus 2. So we are going to substitute for this K here. Where there is K, you write it 5. 5 plus 2, the result is 7. Then this is going to be K plus 4. Replace K with the 5. So this is 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4, how many do we get? 9. Finally, it is K plus 6. Substitute for K. Where there is K, write 5. 5 plus 6 C. Yes, I like that mental work. You arrive at 11. So now, on to our table here, we have the numbers. We have the numbers. We have 5, 7, 9, 11. All these are odds. And they follow each other in that pattern. So now we can say, there are four numbers are numbers are the first one is five second is seven the third number is nine and finally eleven that is your answer for part a you underline using two lines Online your answer very well so that the teacher doesn't need to look for for it while following your work. Yes, let us now look at part B of our second example. Part B reads as work out their range. Work out their range. The range of the numbers we got above. Range simply means it's between the highest number and the lowest number. If our numbers are 5, 7, 9, and 11, amongst these ones here, which one is the highest? The highest number is 11, and the lowest is 11. Five. So we are going to say range equals to highest number minus lowest number. Just substitute for highest and the lowest. Take away the lowest number, which is the five. Quick mental work. Eleven minus five results into six so range of the four consecutive odd numbers when added we get 32 is six so that is how we find consecutive even and odd numbers hope you have understood it very well I am leaving you with an activity which I want you to attempt. Make sure you use a very good handwriting. Lay out your steps very well, just as I've done on the chalkboard. And thereafter, 
you will share with us your answers. Remember, COVID-19 is deadly. It doesn't have a vaccine as of now, and neither does it have cure. Therefore, as you go to public places, remember to wear a mask. As I say out, I am also going to, to the public, so I'm also putting on my mask. See you then. Bye-bye.